Hey guys, so today we're going to be jumping into a showcase of 14 star giblet. I did the first showcase at nine stars because it sort of serves as like, you know how I do for new summonable characters, I do the first showcase of them at lower stars, and then I jump into the 14 star showcase. Kind of took the similar approach with uh, giblet here because this is technically a free character, but he's not really a free character because in order to get him Z powered up all the way to 14 stars, you do need to spend Z2 medals, which you can only gain via summoning. So. Is he free to play? Technically he is, but not really. So that's why I did the nine star showcase today. We're going to take a look at him to four, uh, 14 stars. Here's what his stats looks like. Fully uh, maxed out in terms of stars. 245 to both offense and defense. So you can kind of build this guy to go either strike or blast. Uh, we are going to have 170k strike and 175k blast. Not bad in terms of a free to play character's defensive abilities. One thing I do want to point out that I actually did not know that you guys uh, informed me of yesterday in my initial showcase in the comments. I actually didn't know this, so I appreciate you guys letting me know. Uh, when you go dark type, you are not type advantage defensively. You are actually only type advantage offensively which is not something we've ever seen before, right? We've seen characters that have mechanics where it's like, uh, you know, nullifies all element factors for damage sustained. We've never seen it the reverse, where it's nullify all element factors for damage inflicted. I don't think we've ever seen a character that has that. Um, it's kind of like that with this character, except he not only has nullifies element factors for damage inflicted, it's deal type advantage against <laughs> all element factors for offense, so. Uh, just remember that as we take a look at this character here, defensively, when he is dark type, he technically is just going to be, I believe, it's type neutral. So, uh, we are going to take a look at him on a very similar team that we looked at in the initial video. And the only reason why I'm doing that is because I feel his equipment options are so limited that uh, you almost have to run them, uh, run him next to Goku and Bardock to get access to the Bardock equip here. I mean, this is this is by far his best equipment that you can use. So. Uh, this next to the Gamer Originals equip. I honestly would have liked to have seen them release like a new version of this, like a, like a, another Game Originals unique equipment from the Equipment Collection event, just because the team has just no, like this tag has no equipment at all. So uh, I wish they would do another one of these. Um, and we're going to be running Shenron in the third slot here. Actually, what is Nappa Vegeta? Is he their defense type, range type? I actually should probably change this. Let me quickly see what we got here. I'll just show you guys the equipment selections we have available here. Actually, we could do this, right? Because they're Frieza Force. Yeah, we could use this, actually. Which one is better? This one's better. All right, so we'll do this one. And uh, we'll go in with this setup here. Again, very similar to yesterday's setup. We are just swapping out the Gogeta for Nappa and Vegeta, so a little bit less of an offensive team. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to see Giblet do some more stuff by himself in this video. So we'll jump in, and we'll see how things look for 14-star Giblet. Okay, uh, remember, we want to be leading with a giblet because he gets buffed depending on how many times he enters the battlefield. 3.4 million. I don't know if we can advantage that. 3.4 million health on him. Okay. Obviously, a little bit less of an HP composition this time because we are not running the yellow Bardock on the bench. We'll see if that hurts us. It might. Uh, we'll do this because they, they, they these guys heal a little bit when they take blue cards. So this shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, it's fine. Try this. Nice. All right, Giblet. We could just main here. I probably should have, honestly. I should have just main there. Let's do this. Let's main with Nappa. I can't tell if it's an armor break or not. Of course. <laughs> Good mechanic, by the way, where you can't tell whether or not it's an armor break or not. That's great. All right, he's going to go to Gohan. Yep. It's one of the lowest card draw speed, but he switched right away. Ow. Ouchies. Well. That's like, I probably should have tagged instead of using the blue there. Over tap, okay. Uh, let's do this. And I think we will pop this here. We're dar uh, type advantage offensively now. Wow. Okay. That's quick, because his gauge procced. Okay, this guy's switching like mad like a madman. Yeah, can draw a card. Oh 
Oh, right. I hate this mechanic, man. And we're at half health, we have a disrupt. Eh, that sucks. I'm gonna go blue. Like he probably has one. Yeah. Nice. It was a beast, really. Of course you do. Well, time for Vegeta to play a little bit. I think Giblet's Dark is about to expire. Uh, we can get a second instance of it if we fall below half health to get the Disrupt active. Definitely a much less reliable way to get it, though. Jump. I see, yeah, see his thing ran out already. Alright, this is not going to kill because he moved our buffs. It's not going to kill because I built this guy to be pretty defensive, which is not really working too well. Interesting. Okay. Didn't realize this was going to turn into a Nappa and Vegeta showcase. Still have Giblet's um, Disrupt, right? Interesting play. Alright, Giblet, let's go. Blast. Not enough. Thought he would go to Gohan. Okay, this is going to activate our disruption. There's no way this does 3 million damage. He's not last man standing. We're going to live this and it's going to proc our disrupt. Give us dark type. Nice. Goodbye to you. We'll do the green. EV. Nice. And GG. Okay, nice. Okay, Majin Buu Saga. Honestly, a pretty common team for me to run into at this point. Surprised this many people are using the Majin Buu Saga team. I'm actually going to go into Goku and Bardock here. We'll connect the green. Yep, there's Evil Buu. That's fine. Question is, can we draw another card to tag out? We cannot. Let's right away. That sucks. Here comes Gohan. Here comes Gohan. Okay, I guess he wants to wait till the Boo Duo can come back. Let's go to Giblet, kill a card, stuff like that. Um, I guess we should just get the Disrupt. Why not? No, nah. If he's going to do that, we'll go to Nappa. going to cancel this tackle. Yep. I'm gonna tap her and then we'll main. Give me a strike. He jumped. I'm gonna hope he doesn't blast armor. Yeah. Alright, Jibble, let's go. I'm gonna do this and I'll do this. I was hoping we drop blast there. We have cover null. Oh, really? How much does this do? Not bad. He would have died if he blast armor through that. If I went for it. Oh, okay. Is he even gonna kill me? Yeah, he is. Oh, not if we guess him. Go back to Giblet. He has to cover and all. Oh, okay, sure. Okay, a bit of a different team here. Uh, Zamasu is going to be hell to deal with. Oh god, he goes right away with the blast. Um, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save the dark type disrupt. We're not gonna use it yet. We're going to have it so where he's just above half half health and we can get it in our back pocket for later when we need to use it. I'm going to do this. 
I'll work our draw speed a little. Masu, okay. Yeah, this, this is going to be the issue, this guy right here. Okay, you don't have Blast Armor. Let's grab Cover Null. In case he goes to Orange Piccolo. It's nice to see somebody running Orange Piccolo. We'll just smack him with this. What if I had a green? Um, I want to get Jibbo. Okay, now we can get him back in. I was waiting for the cover. Now we don't have to worry about cover changing because Kidbo doesn't have a cover change. This is a major weakness of this character. Uh, we'll do this. So now starting from the next switch in, Jibbo will have cover null. That's why I wanted to weave that in there. Um, okay, we will go into Goku and Bardock. Interesting. Let's do this, we can get Covernal, and then we'll go to Goku. Cool. Probably can't draw a card, yeah. Double card dress be down for March Piccolo. Whoa. Okay. Let's well, easy here. Disrupt. Nah, we're not doing that. <laughs> Alright, we have the we have the dark type prepped at least. Gotta remember- wait, what? Really? Okay. These guys surely live this, and we're gonna heal from this. Uh, gotta remember that Kid Buu does have Endurance. I do tend to forget this. Just not used to fighting him yet. Really? Okay. Goes right away, that sucks. Let's go to you. As yeah, Zavasu is a massive issue, man. Okay, we can just do this. You just used a blue. I'm assuming he has a green. I did not. Okay, this will get Vegeta out. Nappa has his full gauge, so Vegeta has access to that. Um, do we think he's going to main ability? I would hope not. I don't think he would. This, the safest play is just to back up. I mean, this guy could be crazy and go for a main here. I doubt he would, but let's just play it safe. Okay, he doesn't go for it. Cool. All right, I want to get Giblet back in. Don't go to Piccolo. Okay, covering all stuff up right now. If he's smart, I'll sack Piccolo here. This is a boss too, okay. Oh my god, he killed the Dragon Ball, he's gonna rush. What about you? I don't know, why, why is he being so protective over Piccolo? I'm going right away. He's gotta go to Piccolo here, right? No way. Yeah, <laughs> thank god. Uh, we'll proc that. And I'll switch into Giblet here. I'm actually kind of thinking this guy's going to go for like a mid-range strike or a blast here. We can rush with, with Giblet. Okay. Oh my god, we just reverted back to red. That sucks. I mean, he's still going to die, but... That <laughs> I, I kind of wanted to see how much damage we were going to do. Really? That was like... An actual millisecond. In the middle of our rising rush, we reverted back to red. That's crazy. Still 7.7.
ヤジの力を見くびるなよ。Alrighty, looks like Gohan and powerful opponent. Oh god, not good. Not a good start. I'm gonna go to you, and then if he goes to somebody else, we'll just go to Nappa. Okay. Let me guess, you have a green? Yeah. I kinda wanna go to Giblet. Probably gonna go back to Super 7. This is just a never ending like, game here. That's fine. No reason to go to Bardock right now. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna stop going for quick attacks, I guess. Rush. I have a rush. It is. Can I play the game? I'm gonna stop going for quick attacks. <sighs> We're losing every coin flip. Oh my god, he's 500,000 cards. Every coin flip we lost so far. Okay, screen card number like six. Any more greens? Low battery, that's good. Freezy yet. Let's do this. Hello? Nice. I'd rather not proc this with Giblet, but whatever, we have no choice. Oh, yep. Gotta do this. Whoa. Uh, unfortunately, we can't switch out of Nappa here. We're gonna have to just take the uh, the revive at this point. Oh, man, brutal. We just got went back to red. Yeah, I, it, it does. It does feel. I mean, it didn't, wasn't really a factor here, but it does feel like the dark tide doesn't last long enough. It does feel like the dark type buff doesn't last long enough in either instance, either from the disrupt or from the main ability. I think 30 counts is actually too little. Sucks. 
and go to Napa in time. I believe we still have our... Do we still have our... I don't remember if we proc this or not indestructible. We did. Okay, there it is. Damn it. That sucks. He should switch. He should switch. There it is. Alright, this guy likes to blast from full screen, so we can probably PV. You never learn. All right, final boss. <laughs> um, I think a is definitely very good, uh, for sure. I just think. I mean, it makes sense why they gave him some flaws because he's a free character. They wouldn't, if he was summonable, he wouldn't really have many flaws. But unfortunately, he is free. Um, I think the biggest issue that I'm seeing so far is just like it seems like you only really get one, maybe two priorities with the dark type up. I want to jump, jump. Just kidding. He's waiting way too long. Jesus, he waited so long. I'm gonna go right away next time. Um, it, it really only, even though it's 30 counts, which sounds like a lot on paper, like even when I saw that initially, I was like, wow, that's a long time. But in practice, when you're actually using him, it's not that long. All right, so 149 is where we got the dark type here. Interesting. 149 is where we got dark type. So we have until 119 to use it. We'll see. I don't know why he did that there. Yeah, he's gonna wait a long time. Okay. Nice. That was a good play. Okay, we have like 15 more counts left. Damn, I was a millisecond away from hitting him with that blue card. He's dead. Kill him. Nice. 2.7 is a lot. That was bad. Oh, good enough. Okay. I Without UI Goku, it's going to be tough for this guy to win. Okay. I was going to say, Zamasu could bring it back. I honestly think he shouldn't have forfeited there. My team isn't really that strong offensively. Uh, we'll do one more. I think uh, that was a little short. All right. True final boss. This is like when you beat the final boss, but there's actually a secret boss afterwards. Uh, let's grab the dragon ball here. Nice. All right, Nappa. Drop. Actually, I shouldn't have dropped because he's locked in. We'll drop now. Of course, he's not the game. Let's see if we can get some good footage of Giblet here. I kind of want to go to Goku and Bardock just to lower card draw speed. I will. I go to Giblet right now, actually. There's no blue character. This is fine. We'll heal up some of this damage. I, I want him sidestepping. Okay, we'll do this. Over card draw speed again. Still going. Yeah, the card draw speed debuff doesn't really last too long, though. Oh my god. Uh, I'll let the disrupt. Ah, we could save it. We'll save it. All right, are you finito? You're done, right? Sure. Thanks for the heal. Gage is gonna activate when I hit him one time. Push his gauge. Let's grab cover and all here. Alright, we're gonna try and see if we get some blasts. Two blasts. And there goes all of our key and cards. Nice. Let's go right away.
It would have really helped this character if he had some kind of card protection when he entered the battlefield. I'm going to do this for cover and all. Ours is about to run out. We'll draw a blue off of this as well. I think card protection really could have helped this guy actually on entry, just because there's a lot of times where you're going to switch into him and in the middle of the combo chain in his main ability, which we just did. Like, I think it's going to be a pretty common thing. Alright, kill him. Nice. Alright, unfortunately, we're not really doing a ton with Giblet in this final match. It's just really tough. I think we still have his Disrupt available, actually. Ooh, that's a really good switch for us. 97 is when he switched. All right, come on, Jibla, you got this. All right, I, I, I lied. <laughs> Interesting play. Cool. Covernall really came through there, actually. Rush. So yeah, I mean, he has his spots. I think we saw some pretty decent damage earlier on in the video. But um, again, there's a reason why he's free to play. He's not going to be smashing through. Like, oh my god, Giblet killed 14 Star Ultimate going by himself. Like, that's not, that's not a realistic scenario for a free character like this. But I think for a quote-unquote free character, because again, I don't really like to call him a free character because he's not, he's, he's a pseudo free character. I think he's okay. I do. I think he could have been, could have been way worse. Let's just say that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one.